Hello, hello, and welcome to this. And start, I've decided to start doing some uh, like harmonic analysis of songs, talk about scale degrees and things like that. So um, I, I don't really know how to set the the lesson. This this lesson for Mac DeMarco or to Viceroy uh, right now, like what level of music theory I should do. But uh, I'll try to hopefully make it as good as possible for everyone. So there's a if you don't really know the song, the chords. Uh, maybe just go learn them, but this isn't a tutorial. There's plenty of other good tutorials out there. Like there's a um, Jensa has some too. Has a good one. So I'm just talking about the like scale degrees and things. So I'll get into it now. So the uh, it's in the key of um, I'm going to be speaking relative to the caper. So imagine imagining it was off. I'm just doing this so it's close to the record version. And he does like pitch it up, pitch control with his tape machine. So it's not like the track version isn't. I won't be in tune with the track version because he's he's pitched it up or pitched down or something. But anyway, the so there's that riff going over the top that goes. So that basically makes it the key of uh, G major slash E minor the whole time. That's just the relative minor of G. I I can't really tell if it's E minor or G major, but um, the notes would be all the same, and and the chords used. Would be the same in either key, um, whether E minor or G major. So let's get into the chords. Uh, the two main ones. That are, so yeah, like I said, because that's like the top of a G chord or top of top of an E minor chord, and then so that would be a G six, which is a uh, pretty much an E minor. So that keeps it in G major. But then you see the chords. The chords. Are, uh, so this is the C major seven. Um, which is the fourth scale degree, and that's the chord he uses a lot because I think he likes to open strings. So normally, if it was a C, you'd have another C an octave above, but you'd make it the seven. So that's a one, three, five, seven, and then it goes to, uh, or it goes around like right, but um, but um, but you'll see that uh, I'll just go through the main, yeah, so the the second chord is C major 7, then G major 6 but he doesn't always play the top E string so it doesn't matter too much. Then this chord I was confused by this for a while but then I realized it's a, it's a G dominant 7, so the 1 which goes uh, eventually nicely back into the back into the 4, the 4 chord because that's a, a fifth above the 4 and that's how it resolves well nicely but it's the 1, so normally you'll see a 5 chord on the 1 I'm sorry, the 1, the 5, the 3, the 3, or that's normally, or even the rel the relative minor, it's nice with a dominant chord. So, so you get that, then the G, G major 6, then this one, I think is a G dominant 7, because, so that note is, is there, so that's just the G, and then this note would be, would be the 3rd, so it's, so you just have that flat seven there. Um, that's the seven, but you get the flat seven there, and then this chord after the is a diminished chord, which is something I, you see quite a lot in a few of McDermott's songs. So, so if that's the one right, and then that's the C was the th the four between the four and the five. Uh, I forgot what the interval is called, but on that interval. He does it a lot, so for example, in Freaking Out the Neighborhood, he goes, That's on the diminished, or he does it like just diminished, not diminished, not even diminished, uh, half seven, what it's called, half diminished seven, half diminished chord. He does it on that, right? Uh, and he does that here as well. Because uh, that note would be, because sometimes it's hard to tell if it's always open, you don't see it as the chord shape. But I'll prove to you it sounds fine with that. So it goes. So yeah. So those are, those would be the chords uh, for the for the verse. But that's just the verse, right? So you see how it makes sense. It's kind of all on one key. And well, that's one of the reasons it sounds a bit more interesting than other songs is because um, uh, it's not so common to have a like. I don't know if you find a boring song that you don't you think is really trash. I don't think it normally it won't have 
you know, an interesting chord like that, like uh, on the flat five scale degree, I guess you could call it. Uh, and then we go into the, oh, and at the same time, yeah, there's obviously that at the top, and then in the in the chorus, it has like. I haven't analyzed that bit yet, but I've done the chords of the chorus where it goes. Okay, so the first one is kind of it's kind of F sharp diminished, which is the seventh degree of the scale, which revol resolves nicely to like the G, uh, the G, or it could be the, I see it more as a D6, because you know D6 like is in songs like still beating and it goes, so I see the C C6 with the F sharp on the bass, because F sharp is the, is the third of a, of a D, ma D major. So that's just basically the same as that note there, which would normally be in a D6, but on a lot too low, two octaves below. I, I've used that. That's a good chord to use in songs. If you're making songs, I think it's a nice voicing, especially for for the guitar. Sufjan Stevens use it a lot. Anyway, so. to B minor, which is the third, third scale degree. Nice to, that's a nice, um, resolves nicely because uh, B minor is, a fit, uh, is the fifth scale degree in E minor, so it goes oh, shit. Okay. oh, sorry I got interrupted there, I thought someone was knocking at the door, but that wasn't anyone. So I think I was saying 5 to 1. Uh, and then it goes. So that's common, that's like a four. That's a fairly common in a lot of uh, pop songs. It's just like four or five. Uh, I guess he makes that more interesting with a, uh, I think that's a, a six. Ah, so that's a C major seven. Out of the bottom there. Boom. That's the D dominant seven. Oh, and then he does something down here, but I've forgotten that. But basically, you, that's going through all the chords of uh, Viceroy. Uh, oh, and then at the end when he does, that is just uh, what is it? It's, uh, oh well, I guess it's F minor, F sharp minor pentatonic. But if we're playing relatives at capo, like I've done this whole tutorial, then it's E minor. Shredding on E minor pentatonic. I don't know the solo that well, but yeah, that I thought if that was helpful, uh, I hope it could be helpful. Um, just let me know in the comments below what, what people think and so on. So, uh, yeah, thanks.